what's up guys first off let me say thank you for coming to check out this video i appreciate you stopping in if you're new to the channel and you haven't already hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content on this channel okay so i know it's been a while since my last video on this channel i've been putting a lot of focus on building my gaming channel so after this video check that channel out i'll put a link in the description also i've been live streaming on twitch i'll link that in the description down below as well so if you're into gaming and that kind of stuff you want to even come and play click on those links in the description and come hang out follow me on my other youtube channel my gaming channel and follow me on twitch anyway enough rambling on to what this video is actually about which is how to upgrade and speed up your lenovo y50-70 and let me tell you guys if you don't already have this and you are thinking about upgrading your Lenovo laptop, I highly recommend it. 99% of the editing on this video was done on that laptop after I upgraded it. Prior to updating this laptop, it was super slow. It took forever to load Windows. It took forever to load a web page. Uh, this upgrade that I'm going to go over with you guys, I believe that it is well worth it. So hang in there. If you have any questions, Feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to reply to all the questions, comments that you guys send. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So at the time of this video, I did these upgrades for just under $230. That is excluding the Windows license, and you can get those for dirt cheap if you know where to go. Also, I am not a professional computer repairman that some of you are obviously going to see and probably point out but that's okay this video is for the, the people that have never done anything like this before and they are looking for the basics i'm going to show you how to swap out your hard drive i'm going to so show you how to swap out your ram on this computer and then i don't really show you how to install windows but we can go over that it's super super simple when i first started messing with laptops for some reason installing windows on a fresh hard drive was the scariest part for me so with all that said let's go ahead and jump into this and we will get you on your way to updating your laptop okay so i'm going to share with you the obvious here make sure your laptop's unplugged and go ahead and shut it down once you have it unplugged and turned off go ahead and flip it on to the back side like we have here once you have it flipped to the back side we're going to need to access some screws on the back side and i'll highlight them here for you So go ahead and start taking these screws out. Make sure you get all of them. They can be a little bit tricky on some of them, especially these back ones here that I'm working on now. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video. This part takes a while. Once you have all those screws taken out, you wanna be very, very careful because the hinge side back in the back of the laptop has, I believe, a, like a little, a couple of clips that hold it in. So you wanna be very careful with that kind of push the bottom piece back towards the hinge and then lift up at the same time once you got that disconnected go ahead and pull the case away from the laptop and now you have access to everything you need access to i'm going to go ahead and change the camera angle get you a closer view of the hard drive here there's like a metal frame around the hard drive with the little tabs the four tabs on the outside those black screws you're going to want to take all four of those out once you have all four of those screws out you're going to lift up the hard drive so you have access to the wire that the hard drive plugged into the motherboard with grab that wire give it a little tug wiggle it slightly back and forth if you need to and it should pop right out so this is the hard drive that mine came with it was an sshd i don't know why they put this thing in here it's the biggest piece of garbage i've ever seen in my life and quite honestly i think they did it to cut cost because this was an expensive laptop when i first got it and this thing should have never been in there but that's my own opinion if you guys have these sshds and you love them that's on you all right now we're going to go ahead and switch the camera angle over to the ram so we can get that swapped out okay on mine it came with two four 
gig sticks for a total of eight. We're gonna take both of these out. We're gonna put in two eight gig sticks. In order to get this out, there's two little tabs on each stick, one on each side. You just have to push them away from the ram stick and it'll release them. Okay, so here's the ram we're gonna put in it. It is from Crucial, two eight gig sticks. And here's the hard drive we're gonna put in it from Crucial to MX500 hard drive, 2.5 inch solid state drive uh, with one terabyte of memory. Let me use my high tech box opening device here. Get this thing out of the box. This little black plastic piece here on the bottom of the hard drive, that's like a spacer. Uh, sometimes you may need to put a spacer in the bottom of your laptop so that your hard drive isn't kind of floating in midair there. All right, now let's get this RAM out of the package. And we'll set that aside for a second. Here's a quick view of the package if you guys are wanting to get your hands on this exact RAM. All right, just like any RAM, when you go to put it in, there's really only one way that you can put it in. There's a little slot here on the RAM sticks. And if you look closely, you can see on the socket here, which way the RAM sticks are gonna go into it. All right, once you figure that out, you're just gonna slide the RAM into the socket. And you're going to push down on the ram so that the clips lock back into place like they did here go ahead and grab your other stick of ram and repeat that process now we're going to go ahead and go back over here grab our hard drive and get this bracket off the old hard drive and swap it over to the new one to do that there's four screws go ahead and take those four screws out real quick there's basically one on each side of the hard, or each corner of the hard drive. All right, once you've got your bracket off the old hard drive, go ahead and grab your new hard drive. And we're gonna fasten it to the new hard drive, just opposite of how we took it off the old one. Just make sure the orientation of the hard drive is correct. You wanna make sure uh, where you plug in the wire that you're gonna take from the old hard drive is towards the top. That will ensure that we have enough cable link to reach the plug on the motherboard. When you go to attach the, the wiring harness to your hard drive, there's only one way you can plug it in. Go ahead and slap that plug adapter on there. And we'll get it plugged into the motherboard here. Once you got that plugged in, go ahead and get those four screws back in that secure the bracket to the chassis. All right, before we get everything put back together, now would be a, a great time to clean anything else off that you haven't already cleaned, like the screen here. Just get that dust, dirt, and all that other goodness out of there. Same thing with your fans. If you got a lot of dirt built up in your fans, get that blown out. Nothing worse than going through all this trouble to upgrade your laptop and then you burn it up because it can't breathe. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and 
do this process in reverse we're gonna put the bottom back on here get those screws back in get it all buttoned up and get ready to install some windows hope you have better luck than I did the hinge side of the bottom of this case gave me some problems when I was taking it off and when I was putting it on so just be careful otherwise you can actually break the case back in the, the hinge side there all right, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this video up get through this part real quick nobody wants to watch anybody tighten screws all right once you get all your screws in flip it right side up and we will get ready to install Windows 10 I chose to download my version of Windows 10 to a, a flash drive or thumb drive felt like it was easier if you're not sure how to do that there are a million videos on YouTube that show you super easy go ahead and get this thumb drive plugged in to the USB slot once you've got that plugged in just to the left of the power button there's like a, a arrow and a circular motion to the left that's the one you're gonna want to press do not press the power button okay so you're gonna go ahead and press that button and hold it for a few seconds and then release it once you release it you should see a, the laptop start to light up all right once you've done that it'll pop up this menu here with the arrow keys just arrow down to boot menu it'll come over here to this boot option menu you're going to want to select your device that you have your windows 10 installed in or, or whatever windows you're installing on your hard drive um, in my case it's the usb device the sandisk usb device here use the arrow key up or down to highlight your usb device or whatever you're loading windows from and then click enter once you do that you should see your pc look like it's getting ready to boot up like we have here it may take a while but eventually it'll make it to the windows screen here this is where you select your time zone your your language and all that stuff once you've made your selections here it'll go to another screen you're just going to click install windows and you should get a setup is starting message there keep in mind depending on how fast your laptop is depending on what type of device you're using this could take a while it could take quite some time in my case it took about 15 minutes once it gets through that you're gonna have a windows setup screen here um, and you just select the type of installation you want to do i'm going to select custom install windows only and it's going to start installing windows once it's all done if everything was successful you'll have your desktop screen here and from there you can go to system then go to about and from here this will show you whether all 16 gigs of ram are showing up or not and then you can go to your hard drive and make sure that you see your full terabyte or 500 gigs whatever size hard drive you install make sure that's showing up and you are set so a couple things here i started it up ran some speed tests i'm looking at just under a 60 percent increase on performance just by adding another eight gigs of ram and ditching that sshd hard drive the the paperweight that i took out of it and throwing in a, a real ssd so there you have it that's how you update or upgrade your lenovo y50-70 again if you have any questions please feel free to drop them in the comments below if you like this video hit that subscribe button hit that like button on the video don't forget to check out my youtube gaming channel link below and my twitch live streaming channel link below you guys have a great night thank you for watching I'll see you on the next one.